So welcome everybody to Yoga Nidra. Tonight we're going to talk about choosing happiness. And it, it, it's an interesting question, is happiness a choice? Most philosoph uh, philosophers, psychologists say, yes, it is. Many people realize happiness is a choice and it's up to them to intentionally choose it every single day. Happy people are not held hostage by their circumstances and they do not seek happiness in other people or their possessions. They understand that when we stop chasing the world's definition of happiness, we begin to see the decision to experience happiness has been right in front of us all along. But simply knowing that happiness is a choice is not enough. Fully experiencing it still requires a conscious decision to choose happiness every day. Get comfortable. If you're lying down, let your whole body relax and become as comfortable as possible. Allow your arms to relax down by your sides. If you're sitting, relax your hands on your lap or at your side with your feet apart and settled comfortably and steady on the floor. Gently close your eyes. This is your time now. So leave all your worries at the door. Allow yourself to relax into the flow of the moment. There is only right here, right now. Notice any sounds outside the room. Acknowledge them and let them go. Notice any sounds inside of the room. Acknowledge them and let them go. Let your feet and legs soften into position. Drop your shoulders. Relax your hands. Allow your full body to soften down and relax into a natural position. The practice of Yoga Nidra begins now. Imagine the crown chakra opening as you inhale. Feel the radiant white light of the crown chakra, the crown chakra energy swirling and entering the body at the top of the head. As you exhale, feel the crown, the scalp and the skull soften and relax. Imagine the third eye chakra opening as you inhale. Feel the indigo blue energy swirling and entering the forehead. As you exhale, feel the brow soften and allow that relaxation to expand toward the cheeks, the mouth, the jaw, the ears and the base of the skull. Imagine the throat chakra opening as you inhale. Feel the blue energy swirling and entering the center of the throat. As you exhale, feel the neck muscles and the tops of the shoulders relaxing. Imagine the heart chakra opening as you inhale. Feel the emerald green energy swirling and entering the heart. 
feel the shoulders, back, and chest expanding. As you exhale, feel the shoulders, back, and chest soften and relax. Imagine the sacral chakra opening as you inhale. Feel the orange ball of energy enter through the navel center. As you exhale, feel the hips relax and spread softly over the surface below you. Imagine the root chakra opening as you inhale. Imagine thick, dark red roots extending from the base of the spine into the ground. Root yourself deeply. As you exhale, allow the entire lower half of the body to relax onto the surface below you. Allow gravity to cradle you against the earth. Feel the support and safety offered to you through the root chakra. As relaxation spreads through the body, feel the heaviness. Surrender and let go. Allow gravity to bring you closer and closer to the earth. Feel the heaviness in your feet, in the shins and the calf muscles. Feel the heaviness in the knees and the thighs. Feel the heaviness in the hips and the lower back. Feel the hips and the lower back spreading, softening, easing. Feel the heaviness in the abdomen and the middle back. Feel the heaviness in the chest and the shoulders. Feel the shoulders melting down, softening. Feel the heaviness in the arms. Ungrip the fingers and allow the arms to relax. Feel the heaviness in the head and the neck. Allow the head and neck to soften and relax. Feel the whole body from the crown of the head to the tips of the toes. Soften, release, and relax. Setting a sankalpa, a personal resolve, enhances the yoga nidra experience and helps transfer the benefits received into daily life. It's a statement that conveys a positive trait to benefit you in living your life in a more healthy and meaningful way. Use this time to formulate one that has meaning for you, letting it come to you naturally from the heart. Tune in with your heart and soul for the sankalpa that lights you up and ignites your energy. 
keep it simple, positive, and brief. There is no need to struggle or to force a sankalpa. It can take some time to find the right one for you. There is no rush. Let it come intuitively to you, for this is what gives it power and strength. If you don't have a sankalpa, the beginning and end of Yoga Nidra is the perfect time to reflect on what your sankalpa could be. Let it arise naturally, listening to your body, listening to your mind, finding your authentic self, and letting the sankalpa reflect on your values. If you have a sankalpa, use the present tense as if it's already happening. State your sankalpa now three times to yourself. Turn your attention to your breath as you breathe in, as you breathe out. Bring your awareness to the top of the head. On the next exhalation, imagine the breath flowing from the top of the head to the base of the spine. On the next inhale, the breath flows from the end of the spine to the crown of the head. Continue to imagine your breath flowing up and down the spine. Imagine the breath as a soft white light streaming up and down the spinal column. There's no need to set a rhythm there is no need to set a pace for the breath. Just observe the natural breath as it flows through you. In Yoga Nidra, we practice the rotation of consciousness. As I name a body part, move your attention there. There's no need to move the body. Just let your mind move the energy. Don't overthink it and don't try too hard. Do not worry if you fall in and out of hearing me. It's very natural for that to happen in Yoga Nidra. Your subconscious is always listening to the message. Perhaps you can imagine a light coming on in that part of the body. Don't let your attention linger too long. Just follow my voice. Bring all your awareness to the palm of the right hand, the back of the hand, the right hand thumb, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, and little finger. Feel the right wrist, the lower arm, the elbow, and the upper arm. Notice any sensations 
in the whole right shoulder, the right armpit, the right side of the chest, and the right side of the waist. Feel the right hip and the top of the right leg, the knee and the lower leg. Feel the energy swirling around the right ankle, heel, and sole of the right foot. Notice any sensations in the sole of the right foot, top of the foot, the right big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth and fifth toes. Feel all the toes together. Feel all the energy in the right foot, the right foot all together. Feel the foot and the leg. Feel the foot and the leg all together. Feel the right side body and the whole of the right arm. Feel the whole right side of the body, the whole right side of the body, the right side of the body. Now guide your awareness to the palm of the left hand, the top of the hand, the left hand thumb, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, and little finger. Feel all the sensations around the left wrist and the lower arm, the elbow and the upper arm. Feel the energy in the left shoulder, infusing all of the cells and components of the left shoulder with health and vitality. Notice any sensations in the left armpit, the left side of the chest, and the left side of the waist. Feel the left hip and the top of the left leg. Notice any sensations in the left knee and the lower leg, the left ankle and the heel. And notice all the sensations in the sole of the left foot. Feel the energy in the sole of the left foot, the top of the foot, the left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth and fifth toes. Feel all the toes together. Feel the whole left foot, the left foot. Feel the left leg. Feel the left leg and foot all together. Feel the left side body and the left shoulder.
feel the energy in the fingers of the left hand. Feel the whole left hand. Feel the left arm. Feel the left arm and hand all together. Feel the left side of the body. Feel the left side of the body all together. The left side of the body. And feel again the right side of the body. And feel where the two sides meet at the midline. Feel the body as a whole. And pour your awareness like liquid from the right side to the left side of the body. From the left side to the right side of the body. Feel the whole body all together. Feel the back of the head and the contact points with the surface below you. Feel the back of the neck and feel any sensations in the right shoulder blade and the left shoulder blade. Feel the area all around the shoulder blades. Feel the upper back, the middle back, and the lower back. Let the energy swirl in the back, bringing healing light to every cell, every muscle, every bone. Notice the right buttock and the left buttock the back of the right thigh and the back of the left thigh, back of the right knee and the back of the left knee, the right calf muscle and the left calf muscle, the right heel and the left heel. Feel the backs of the legs steady and comfortable on the surface below you. Feel the legs all together. Feel the buttock and the back. Softening, releasing. And feel the shoulders relaxing and releasing. And the back of the head steady and stable on the surface below you. Feel the whole back body. Feel the whole back body all together. The whole back body the whole back body. Guide your awareness to the tops of the feet. Feel the toes on the right foot and feel the toes on the left foot. Notice the right shin and the left shin. The right kneecap and the left kneecap. Feel any sensations in the right thigh and the left thigh. And imagine the pelvic bowl rimmed by the hips and the ribs. Go deep into the body, 
and feel all of the internal organs working together to keep the body healthy. Sense the stomach and the intestines, the kidneys and the lungs. Feel energy and oxygen infusing the internal organs. Feel all the sensations in the abdominal cavity. Feel the rib cage and the right side of the chest, the left side of the chest, the right collarbone and the left collarbone, the throat and the neck, and the chin. Sense the right side of the jaw and the left side of the jaw. Feel all the energy in the right temple and the left temple. Feel the whole face. Feel both eyes together and feel the eyeballs sinking back into the sockets. Eyeballs heavy and sinking. Let your attention smooth out all the wrinkles and folds in the face, in the eyelids, in the mouth. And go inside the mouth now. Feel the upper teeth and gums and the lower teeth and gums. The right inner cheek and the left inner cheek. Feel the tongue and notice all the moisture in the mouth. Feel the vibrations of energy in the mouth. Feel the right ear and the right earlobe, the left ear and the left earlobe. Bring all your attention to the top of the head, back to the crown chakra opening to allow energy from the universe to flow through the body, flow through the body, dissolving blockages, keeping energy moving and bringing in fresh energy to replace stale, unused energy. Feel the whole front body Feel the whole front body from the crown of the head to the tips of the toes. Feel the whole body, the whole body all together. The whole body. Feel that heaviness of relaxation again. Feel the whole body. Picture yourself walking slowly along a path. It's a beautiful day and you feel relaxed and happy. You can feel the warmth and energy of the sunlight on your skin. After a while, you come to a gate. You know this gate leads to a special place where you feel welcomed, safe, 
and comfortable. You push the gate open and allow yourself to enter your very own private garden. Your garden is filled with all of your favorite things. Whatever is pleasing to you can be found in this place. Perhaps there are roses, flowers, bushes and trees, animals, birds, water, and even your favorite music. You look around and drink in what is all around you in your garden. You see all the colors and objects that are in this place and you notice how beautiful they are. You see the various shapes, see how wonderfully different they are. You look at the ground and look at the sky and see where they meet. Your garden is calm and tranquil. Everything peacefully coexists in your private garden. You begin to explore with your sense of touch. Perhaps some things are soft and warm, others are smooth and cool. You spend some time exploring using your sense of touch as you continue to feel more and more at peace and comfortable. You notice what the air feels like, if there's a breeze or if it is still. Take all the time you need to feel the peace and serenity in this private place. You continue to explore your garden by seeing and feeling and now you are becoming aware of the sounds that you hear in your garden. The sounds are pleasing to the ear, very comforting. Or perhaps it is quiet, or maybe there are a number of different sounds. Some of the sounds may be very soft while others are louder. Relax and listen for a while and see if you can identify the different sounds in the garden. As you listen to the sounds in the garden, you're becoming aware of what smells are there. You take a deep breath in and notice the fragrances that are present. Some of them may be familiar while others may be unfamiliar. The fragrances are pleasant and soothing. Perhaps you smell sage. Smell the sage. Perhaps you smell magnolias, roses, or a lemony scent. You continue to explore the garden. 
You approach a large tree growing nearby. Take your time walking towards the tree. Be in the moment and experience each step. As you walk, you feel yourself slipping even more deeply into a state of total relaxation, total peace and serenity. Now you stand beneath the tree, its strong branches and broad leaves hang right over your head. The tree is covered in delicious fruits of many shapes, sizes, and colors. This is no ordinary tree. Its fruits contain special powers. You reach up and take a piece of fruit from the tree. You study it for a moment, noticing the color, the texture, the weight of it in your hand. It has an inviting fragrance. Taking a bite and chewing thoughtfully, the delicious fruit slides down your throat and into your stomach. Something wonderful then begins to happen. A feeling of happiness begins to glow deep inside you. The sensation begins in your stomach, then spreads upward to your chest and your heart. At this moment, let go of thinking and concentrate on feeling. Nurture this sense of happiness and love. Feel yourself gently glowing with it. You take another bite of the fruit now, tasting it, savoring it. Now the glorious feeling intensifies. Feel yourself radiating this pleasant sensation of love and happiness. Relax and allow. Relax and allow yourself to be filled up with this feeling. There is no need to try too hard. Let it rise effortlessly within you. Allow it to expand and fill you. Take your time and enjoy your visit to your private garden, using it in whatever way that you wish or that you need. Spend the time that is necessary for you to rejuvenate and to care for yourself. When you are ready to leave, Slowly walk back towards the gate of your private garden. You have truly enjoyed your visit to the garden and feel relaxed and content. You push the gate open and return to the path that led you to the garden. As you make your way back up the path to the here and now, Remember that you can return to your private garden 
anytime you wish. Visit your garden anytime you would like to relax, to be comforted, to fill yourself up. Bring your attention back outward from the stillness and the silence, knowing it is available to you at any time to the relative quiet of the mind, the flow of each inhale and exhale, the stillness of your physical body. In this moment, let the subconscious mind know what it needs to do. You are completely relaxed and aware of the cosmic consciousness within you. So now is the perfect time to focus on your sankalpa, your resolution. Your mind is receptive to the instructions. And so recall the sankalpa in this particular moment. When you recall your sankalpa in Yoga Nidra, the heartfelt desire arrives as a felt sense in the body and mind. It is absolutely alive and true in that moment. State with all the power within you, your sankalpa, three times to yourself. Begin to notice your breath, your natural breath, as it flows through you. Feel the in-breath, feel the out-breath. As you exhale, imagine a wave passing downward through your body, carrying away tensions. As you inhale, a fresh wave flows upward through your whole body, bringing sense of calm to every cell. While there's life, there is hope. While there's hope, there is a dream. While there's dreaming, there is faith. Where there's faith, there is success. While there's success, there is joy. While there's joy, there is happiness. Life may not let me choose my lot, but whether I'd be happy or not, that is my choice. To leave hurtful memories behind or allow them to bother my mind, that choice is mine. To fret over a mistake when it's done or learn from it and move on, that choice is mine. To be bothered by all that people say or ignore them and go my own way, that choice is mine. to hide my feelings pent up unspoken or say my mind and ease the burden. That choice is mine. 
to enjoy what I'd been able to gain or ungratefully regard it with disdain. That choice is mine. Sometimes I won't get to pick my lot, but whether I'll be happy or not, that will always be my choice. Become aware of sound again. Hearing any sounds around you, distant sounds, closer in sounds, gradually drawing your attention back to the environment around you. Remembering what the space around you looks like without opening your eyes. Ceiling, walls, floor, without looking. Feeling the surface below your body, feeling the points of contact. Beginning to deepen the breath, bringing your awareness back to the here and now. We have choices. We can choose to wake up further, continuing the transition. from a dreaming state to an aware state. Or you can choose to rest and relax, feel the benefits of your yoga nidra practice. My dear friends, thank you so much for allowing me to facilitate your yoga nidra practice tonight. As always, it's my honor and pleasure. Namaste.